Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Apache Hive. In this video, I'll be letting you know what's the difference between the term internal table and external table in Apache Hive. Internal tables are also called as managed tables and external tables are also called as non-managed tables. Managed or internal tables are those tables which is controlled by Hive when it comes to their data and metadata. And the second type of tables is is external table in which the hive only controls the metadata for these tables if you don't specify the external keyword by default hive creates the managed tables let's see how we can create the uh, internal table and how we can create the external table although in my uh, apache hives playlist i've already have given uh, examples that how we can uh, go with the regular table which is internal table but let's discuss today how what's the difference between these two tables if you talk about the internal tables, as I already stated, that it can be created with the regular uh, create table command. Let's create one internal table and let's see the difference between internal and external. So I'm creating one table, uh, which is in this case, I'm not specifying any keyword. It means it by default, it will be internal table. It means uh, this table, uh, you can find its information in the user high warehouse directory. Let's see, let's create one table. Uh, I'm just uh, giving it as maybe F1 in which I'm just keeping two uh, columns ID and name okay so two column row format delimited fields terminated by terminated by comma all right that's it in this case, you can see I haven't uh, mentioned any word like external. So it is a by default internal or managed table. The reason it's called managed table, which I already stated, it is it will be controlled by the hive when it comes to their metadata and data. Now let's load the data. Load data local in path. Okay, I'm just uh, putting this data uh, from my uh, home location for my uh, documents location this is my file in which i've got uh, just two values uh, two rows here one abc two xyz let's load that uh, information this is the location i'll be copying it from here and let's go back to it uh, yeah and then symbol quotes closed into table table name table name is f1 so load data local in path in this case i am loading the data and in this case if i am going with this uh, if i just uh, run the command select star from table name i'll be uh, getting the results here that uh, the data will be properly loaded you can see one abc and two xyz and in this case uh, you can see its information in the in their uh, warehouse location you can see if i run the command let me clear the screen dfs hyphen ls hyphen user hive warehouse and you'll be finding its uh, information over there okay and you can see f1 is available here and this is the time at which it is uh, created and let's see inside it what is there inside this uh, if i'm just rerun the command with the f1 and you can see its location it's under the user hive warehouse and if i drop the table the data and everything will be dropped right if i drop the table drop table f1 okay it's okay right if i'm just rerun the command and you'll not be finding because there's no such file or directory it means everything will be lost in the case of uh, internal table because its location is in that warehouse location and if i drop the table everything got dropped on the other hand we have another table available which is called external table so for that I'll be I'm just creating one directory here in my HDFS uh, with the command uh, DFS space hyphen MKDIR maybe sample something okay and I'm sending my uh, data with the put command DFS put and whatever I'm having in my this one space in this sample okay it's inserted now let's uh, create the table external so what is external table uh, in which uh, you'll be getting uh, in the case of external table that the hive only be controlling the metadata not the actual data let's create an external table with the syntax create external table table name 
I am just giving it as F1. Okay, same schema ID and name, string. Okay, row, format, delimited, fields, terminated by, comma, location. I need to use uh, another parameter here called location because data will be coming from the location and my location is is my in my Hadoop location Hadoop home under the sample okay which I've already given in my previous command with the help of put I have just already sent the data from my uh, local machine to the HDFS right you can see I got the message okay and here if I re, uh, run the command select star from F1 data got available right right so but its location will not be the warehouse okay the data will not be under the warehouse right and if we drop the table let's suppose drop table table name what will happen the data will be dropped but still i'm able to still my data is still with me because data is in sdfs okay not in the warehouse so if i uh, run the command user sag okay sample data is still there right data is still there so this is the uh, advantage of having external table so let me repeat uh, when we drop the manage table from the hive not only its metadata is deleted from the hive but also data is got deleted from hdfs but in the case of uh, uh, external table the hive only drops the metadata for the table keeping the original data at its location because it is the external table so hive does not assume that it owns the table data and it keep is it as it is as an hdfs so this is the difference between internal table and external table first dif difference is that the internal table by default its information is in warehouse hive owns that hive is hive is managing that those tables is the default type of tables but in the case of external tables we need to mention the keyword external plus location and if you drop the external table, the only metadata will be dropped, but the data will remain as it is in HDFS. I hope uh, you must have understood uh, today's concept uh, from this video. I'll be uh, catching you in next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next video.